First impressions can be important. And Tanger cast a spell over this community with its opening show. And room with Miss Galinda. <laughs> The Broadway show Wicked played three weeks at the Tanger, and according to the city, over 66,000 theater fans came out. A trade association for the Broadway industry estimates that Wicked's impact on Greensboro at over $11 million. We reached out to the Broadway League to ask how they came up with that figure, but no one returned our calls or responded to our emails. Tanger's second Broadway show, Beautiful, the Carol King Musical, just wrapped up its one-week run in Greensboro. 22,000 people came out, according to the city. We spoke with out-of-town theater fans who traveled to Greensboro for the show. A story about Carol King is good to see anytime, right? I'll tell you, isn't she amazing? Yes, she is. They came from Burlington, Eden, Randleman, and other places to downtown Greensboro. Are so, you spending any money? <laughs> yes, we just had lunch or supper. Where'd you go? Cafe Europa. Cafe Europa. How was that? Yummy. You could do any dining out? Did you go anywhere? Did you, did you spend any money in Greensboro? Yes, yeah, we, we did. Out yeah, we down did. The road down there. We, uh, we ate down there at the, I think it's called White. Black, Black and White. White. And White. White. For some, the Tanger Center offers a better option than traveling to Durham for a show at DPAC. Do you see this, though, as something that would replace for you guys a DPAC kind of a setting? Depending on what they have, what, kind of what they're showing, they have. yeah. If the shows are good enough, you'll, you'll good, come to we'll Greensboro. Come, we'll come. And being in the triad, now that we're back in the triad, it's, it's yeah. awesome that we've got this available to us. Now, the big question is, are you spending any, any money downtown? Are you going out to Only eat? in there. <laughs> Expectations are riding high for the arrival of Hamilton. That Broadway show comes to Tanger in April. Bill O'Neill, WXII, 12 News.